fucking this thing gets up and spins a lot faster than a rain gutter, huh? Yeah, a little quicker. <laughs> Holy shit. What's up everyone? This is my 2008 BMW 335i. I've had this puppy since about 2017. I put about 100,000 miles on her and then I started to build it. We did the full port injection setup with the bigger turbos, hot side inlets with the turbo outlets that were upgraded. We got the seven and a half inch VRSF intercooler all stepped up for the high flow. We relocated the coolant uh, expansion tank to the right side or the driver's side so that we had room for all the inlets. We have a tile blow-off valve, and the injectors are about 750 cc. All uh, steel braided all the way back to the fuel tank. We removed all the cowling up front and did the covers for the DME and the brake master cylinder and clutch master cylinder. We have the aftermarket intakes for the cab cabin filter, and uh, we have a nice little inlet for the cones. She's currently about 700 horsepower. I did a hit yesterday about 668 horsepower or foot pounds of torque to the wheel or probably to the crank or something like that. And that was only 80% throttle, so I was really stoked with that. A few months ago, I got it back from the manual swap. If you want to take a look, we ended up doing the chassis mounted RTD shifter with the carbon fiber shift, uh, shift lever. We have the MHD uh, full Wi-Fi gauge setup. And now we got a fun pedal. Uh, the MHD is Bluetoothed from my OBD2 sensor. We're going to be upgrading a steering wheel because it doesn't have paddle shifters anymore because we removed it. And we're going to be putting just a regular non uh, paddle shifter, a manual transmission steering wheel in it. It still has all my creature comforts. It's got the seat warmers, it's got the air conditioning and the heaters. It's still a very nice, comfortable car to drive, but when you get into it, about 4,000 RPMs, she really opens up. I have down pipes on the motor because I wanted it to be able to breathe, but we still have the stock mid pipes and the stock mufflers, and that keeps it real quiet when you're cruising around town so it's not burnt. Motive uh, Raceworks, they have the twin disc clutch with the billet flywheel that I put on as well, and with all that, um, the motor package is really just happy to crush. We're at 226,000 miles and it's just purring like a kitten still. She's crushing it. Uh, Turner Motorsports, we ended up doing all the monoball uh, control arms up front with the BC adjustable coilovers in the front and the rear and the monoball rear coilover mounts. We got a little more things on the outside of the vehicle. I ended up just getting these wheels. These ones are pretty nice. We got 255s on them. I think I can get 250, uh, 65s or 75s. We ended up cutting the inner fender out to make it all fit. Upgraded drilled and slotted rotors with the Hawk pads and the ECS Motorsports. Uh, front two-piece rotors with the upgraded Hawk pads. Uh, the difference that I've seen from the brakes is substantial. They don't warp and they're really nicely made. The other ones I got, I did a couple high-speed stops and they were warped forever. Uh, other than that, I think that's um, everything. If you noticed anything or you have any questions about anything, shoot me a comment. And uh, if you want to know anything else, feel free to shoot me a line. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Like, comment, subscribe.